the Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm really excited about showcasing some obscure Commodore VIC-20 cassette tape games. That's right. In a previous video, my cassette tape player wasn't working, but now I have a working one. I'm super excited. And so I've never played these games before. In fact, I was researching several databases, and these games often aren't even included because they're cassette tape. A lot of collectors, they focus on cartridge-based games. And, you know, today's message really is just to focus on, if you have something obscure, play it, enjoy it, appreciate it. There is going to be a time in which you're not going to, able, you're not going to be able to play these obscure games on original hardware. These cassette tape games are over 35 years old. I have not played them before. I don't know if they work. So let's check it out. One thing I take pride and joy in collecting is the really obscure. And really this video's focus is if you have something really obscure, play it now. It's fun to collect and it's fun to say, hey, look what I have. But I also think it's just as fun to, to boot up something that not a lot of people have seen or played or enjoyed. And I really, really bought these items to appreciate. I, I, I bought them really because I haven't seen these games around. This is pretty obscure. And Commodore VIC-20 games, just to let you know, they require a RAM cartridge for your VIC-20. And so you can get these. They're typically overlooked all the time. And they're starting to actually, they do, they do cost, but they're, they're still relatively cheap. But you need a RAM cartridge to plug into the cartridge port in the back of your VIC-20. You also need one of these for a Commodore VIC-20 cassette tape games. And this plugs into the back of the VIC-20 as well. And with that, you get these cassette tape games. And a lot of these games are basic. A lot of them, there's not much to them. But I, I've never seen these games. And so this, this is part, this is ALA software. I think I'm saying that right. And they require 8K expansion. I have a 16K, and I think you can even get up to 32K, I think, is uh, you can get that. You can find those cartridges relatively easily. And this is Black Widow. And these games came out in 1983, which is a bad year. And General Masters Corporation. And inside you have the cassette tape. And it gives a different instruction than other cassette tape games. You have to press shift and run stop keys at the same time, release run stop key, then release the shift key. I've never seen that instruction before, at least with my other cassette tape games. I don't know why, but uh, that is what they require you to do. In Black Widow, it's, it says some simple instructions on the back. I'm really big on the physical aspect of these games and I wanted to test to see if they work and I'll show this in this video if they do. Thunderhead and some simple 90 day warranty little flyer. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. And Thunderhead is Kind of a simple space game. Deep in space, your ship moves silently across the cosmos. You scan the radars and ultra light scanners for any sign of space bandits. For your job as a federal space marshal is to rid the galaxy of vermin like villains. Ooh. The next is Space Runner. Now, the truth is. Some of these games may be very basic and stuff, but I've never played them before. I'm really excited. So let's check them out. All right. Once your VIC-20 is hooked up and powered on, you have to do the following. So you do have to hold down shift and run stop keys at the same time. And then left up on, lift up on run stop and then shift and then press play on the cassette tape. And it's gonna do this. 
and it's going to do this for a while. After a while, you're going to get that screen. Please wait while loading. I mean, you think Sega CD loading was long. This is, that's, that's nothing. <laughs> Keep waiting. All right, you're going to get this glitchy screen, and that actually means it's working. And it'll continue in about two minutes. Oh, nice little sound effects. So it took about two minutes. And I'm going to do easy play. That red is pretty bright. So we'll get that. And it'll go to a nice blue and black screen. It'll load it. And, yep. Nice little noise there. And... You just have these spiders coming from the top of the ceiling and just blast them. But I didn't want to wait to play this. Who knows if this is going to work, you know, five, ten years from now. I want to play this now. I want to play this on original hardware because who knows, you know. How many working copies are still around? I wanted to appreciate it and play it now. This is something that, you know, I I, 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 I fear that moving forward there's going to be less and less of this going on. And emulation is great to play games. But it, it, does, doesn't, it doesn't duplicate the experience on original hardware. I'm sorry. All right, this is Thunderhead. And it's important to note, that this tape starts differently than the than Black Widow. And that's what I love about this bizarre software is that these little these little differences and just getting a game to, to load was weird. So searching found loading ready run. Now I tried pressing things on the keyboard. No, it's still loading the game off the cassette uh, the Commodore cassette tape player. And you have to wait for the whole game to load onto your VIC-20. And so you're essentially still waiting. And it's going to be a couple more minutes. And then you can start playing the game. So then it goes blank like this. I'm like, oh my gosh, what now? So it goes blank. And then... Thunderhead. 1983. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. You get a similar screen from the other game by pressing by pressing down, you accelerate your ship. It's got weird control. And then uh so pressing down will accelerate your ship and you just have to blow up these ships and protect the satellites. Not bad. For a simple tape game, you know, back in the day, you know, cassette tape games were a cheap way of offering software at an affordable price, you know. The the ZX Spectrum in the, in the UK, good example of that, you know, we had the... All right, here we go. Space Runner. All right. Run into aliens, eliminate all of them before time runs out, and the meteors hatch. And the, okay, hitting all a meteor creates more aliens. Hitting red meteors create meteor showers. After hitting three meteors, all create meteor showers. Okay, let's do three. Decent graphics. Oh, that looks tough. Holy cow. Oh, okay. Makes it tougher. Huh! How in the heck do I get that? I like this game. 
So there you have it. This footage was hard to capture. I had to go an old school route, but that's okay. I, this is the type of stuff I really am excited about showing on my channel. It's something that's pretty odd, and I was really, really happy to see that these tapes still work. There were some other games. I tried one of the games, and it honestly wasn't that fun, and maybe I'll show that in a later video. We'll see. But I'm happy to announce that I have hit 70,000 subs. Really excited. On to 80,000 subs now. So thank you for the support. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care.